Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a Botox alternative serum. And I'm also going to talk you through the process of how they work and just how Botox-like these cosmeceutical ingredients actually are. Now, as a further testament to these materials and their miraculous effects on the skin, I have Caucasian skin, obviously. We're the worst type to get wrinkles, and I've been using these types of materials since I was 38. I'm now 44, and as you can see, the materials clearly work because I don't have an excess of expression lines, thanks to these materials. So let me talk you through the science of how these materials work, and then I'll show you how to put the serum together. When you go to smile or frown or have an expression, neurotransmitters are normally released to nearby muscle cells where a special set of receptors, called SNAP receptors, which form part of a snare complex, allow the receptors to dock and release their neurotransmitters into nearby muscle cells. The peptides in these cosmeceutical ingredients mimic the peptides in the snare complex, in particular SNAP25. So they bind in the snare complex in place of the SNAP25. This destabilizes the snare complex, preventing the neurotransmitters from docking and delivering their message. This means the message to contract the muscle simply doesn't get there. The result means less expression. Botulinum toxins, or Botox, is injected. These particular materials are applied in topical creams. They're not injected, but they do rely on a good delivery system, such as a serum, to help make sure they get to the deeper layers of the epidermis where they have the best performance. Now you need to remember too that as we age, the ability of our muscle to reform or go back to its original position slows down. In addition, the amount of collagen that we have in our skin decreases rapidly as we start to age, which means that when a wrinkle forms, it not only stays there longer, but it has less collagen or firming substance in the skin to pull it back into its original position. If I can reduce the amount of expressions in my muscle contractions, then I can not only reduce the amount of times that that muscle has to contract, I can also protect it from something called muscle senescence or muscle aging. That means as I age, the muscles simply don't have to work as hard and my skin retains a more youthful appearance. The material I'm going to introduce you to today is called Argyrolene Amplified by Lipotech. And this is the latest in their offering. This company was actually the first to bring a Botox-like material to market with their original Argyrolene. They also brought to the market their ingredient Snap8 which has been clinically proven to reduce the snare complex stability by up to 65%. And this translates to dramatic reduction in expression lines and a reduction in wrinkles. The Argyrolene Amplified has been clinically proven to reduce wrinkles by up to 11% in just five days, with an up to 46.7% reduction in wrinkle depth after 28 days. You really can look five years younger in just five days. Now at this point you may be wondering, well, why isn't this told to us as consumers? Well, part of that is with the definition of cosmetics and cosmetic advertising law. Companies can only promote their cosmetic products using appearance or visual based marketing, which means they can't talk about the Snare Complex or Snap 25 in their marketing because that's a physiological effect that occurs at the cellular level and is not permitted to be marketed when advertising to consumers. On this channel, I'm talking to you as a cosmetic chemist, so I can explain to you the mechanism of these materials within the cells and why they work so well. But you're unlikely to see these kind of claims on cosmetic packaging because the laws simply prevent companies from making these types of claims. The mechanism, however, still remains. The latest addition to these materials, the Argyrolene Amplified, has additional effects to that of just standard Argyrolene. Not only has it shown a 33% stronger effect than Argyrolene alone, it also increases collagen synthesis to make firmer skin and has also been shown to increase lipodensity within the skin to make the skin look more supple and more youthful. So now, let me show you how to put together this amazing Botox Alternative Serum. 
This is the serum we're going to be making here. As you can see, it's a beautiful serum consistency and it absorbs directly into the skin. Being in an emulsion, it also means we get really good delivery to the deeper layers of the epidermis where the actives can have their best effect. Now to create this serum, I have my water and humectant here. And to this, I'm going to add Silly Gel and then High Sheer. I'm using the Silly Gel because it will help provide a really beautiful skin feel to this serum. It's not sticky or tacky at all, just feels beautifully silky. Now I'm just going to heat my water and oil phase. Once my emulsion has formed and it's cooled below 40 degrees, I can then add my antioxidant, any other actives I might want, fragrance, and of course, the Botox-like active. Stir it through until homogenous, and then check and adjust pH. And there is your Botox Alternative Serum. Now don't worry, on the day you make it, the viscosity is a bit lower, but by the next day, it will set to this beautiful serum consistency you can see here. The materials themselves come in liquid form, and you don't need a great deal, especially not much of the peptide at all, to get the desired result. Just remember, the delivery system is the most important vehicle here because you need to get the actives to the deeper layers of the epidermis where they can have their best effect. Well, that's how to create a Botox Alternative Serum and how Botox Alternatives work in formulations. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.